Hey guys, how you doing? Mowers and blowers here again. Doing a video on fixing a flat. So, uh, you know my two tractors, the uh, Murray and the um, John Deere STX46. They both have a, a rear 20 inch, I'm sorry, a, yeah, a 20 tire 8 inch rim that I've been trying to uh, seal. It has dry rot and cracks in it. So I tried uh, slime didn't work for the cracks because it was just too big of a crack. It did work in the front smaller six inch rim, but it didn't work for the big one. Then I figured the crack was a little bit bigger, so I used Fix-A-Flat. That didn't work either, it just leaked all out. So I'm just gonna fill that tire with great stuff, big gap filler. That will be an airless tire. So I'm gonna go take this home and give it a try. So I brought my uh great stuff big gap filler here 16 ounces I got three cans it was 525 each there was another one made by the same company called uh, crack filler and uh, that was only 424 uh, 425 but this one says it's a big gap filler that one just filled the cracks so uh, I took this uh, thing off and it came with this nozzle that was on top of there this green thing was in between it inside I just ripped them all out because it wouldn't fit inside my nozzle here. It didn't click or anything, nor does it go all the way in, so I had to use duct tape just to seal it. Um, it has cracks in it, which is why it doesn't fill with air, you know. So uh, I'm just going to try this right now and uh, see what happens. Well, that didn't work well at all. Let me put that back. You know, I really don't feel anything going in. Alright, so that's the air coming out, I guess. And uh, once that air comes out, maybe I'll try filling it some more. Uh, not looking too good, guys. So it doesn't seem like it's going in anymore. So I'm going to drill a hole in this middle tread here, right in the middle of the tread, not the one without any tread you want to do here. I hope that's big enough. Hardly makes any noise. You don't even know if it's working or not, you know? So, it's just like that. You don't hear anything. I don't even know if it's coming out. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna drill one over here. Drill it in there. Doesn't seem like there's any in there. I don't know, man. It's, I mean, it's going in there because it uh, doesn't feel full anymore. It's like a quarter or something like that, you know? Here, let me, I can't get this in there. All right, well, uh, the can's in there. And uh, so I poked uh, three holes. The uh, one was the nozzle, so I didn't have to poke that side. But one here, one there, and one there. Um, so I'm hearing some kind of air coming out. So maybe it's expanding. But will it expand enough to get this dent out? I mean, because this is this was the part that was on the bottom, of course. You know, from the weight. It. I mean, I'm a little concerned that it's not round. You know. I don't know if this is going to work, but uh, I'm, in a, I'm, a, I'm assuming it's going to expand a little bit, you know. Um, 
you know, it says cure overnight, eight hours or something like that. So maybe it'll expand a little bit. And then once it expands, this dent won't be here. I hope because, uh, you know, we've, I've tried a lot of things here. I've tried the uh, fix a flat doesn't work. I've tried uh, the slime, doesn't work. This theoretically should work, but uh, I don't think it's just expanding enough or big enough for it to fill, you know? Look, that's still soft, man. So uh, I either have to use another can or uh, just wait eight hours and see what happens. If it works, I'll throw it in there. If it doesn't work, I'll return it. And well, I guess I'm gonna I can't return it because I'm gonna have to just see it out because uh even if I wanted to put a tube in there, you can't put it in there now with all that foam. So uh that's that. So yet to be determined. I'll follow up later. Okay, good morning. So it's been the day now, and I've let this tire cure all night. So let's see. It does look more puffier. Still has slight, you know, um, dent here. But uh, I'm going to drop this. Hmm. It's holding up. <laughs> Looks good, actually. Solid, man. Hard as a rock. All right. I mean, it's messy and stuff, but I mean, solid, man. It's like styrofoam. Look at this. Solid. Hard. It's cool. Cool stuff. Comes right off. Not that messy, actually. All right. Well, dude, that fixed it. All right, I'm a believer, man. It took two cans to fill that uh, with a lot of leakage, obviously. So maybe one and a half if you did it, you know, if you were a perfect person and you did everything perfectly. See, looks puffy. No sags. I like it. So all in all, this review of uh, gap fillers for a tire works better than slime or fix a flat. For sure. I'm very impressed. I mean, you guys saw, I was very skeptical. I didn't think this would work. But uh, after it expanded and puffed overnight and hardened, a tire is solid. Solid and round. Awesome. I'm a believer. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.